Hello everyone and welcome to Roslyn Hill Chapel, a spiritual home for open minds. I'm Reverend Kate Dean, the Minister for this Unitarian spiritual community here in Hampstead in North London. Whoever you are and however you are this morning, there is a place for you here. And even though we aren't together physically this morning, this is a chance for us to take some time out to reconnect with yourself, with each other, and with that which you hold to be of highest worth. Our final service of the month combines two favorites from our evening gatherings, live music and meditation, and the Wheel of the Year pagan celebrations. Today, we prepare for the pagan festival of Samhain, or Halloween, which will occur on Saturday, with gentle music and different forms of meditation for you to take part in. If you have a candle to hand, please do have it ready to light for our walking meditation later in the service. You might like to make some space to walk around in a small circle too. Don't forget to join us for tea and conversation in the virtual side aisle today at midday. The Zoom link is in our weekly update email. If you haven't already, you can sign up to these updates via our website for more information on all of our activities. We are an independent registered charity and we rely on your contributions to continue our work. You can donate via our Just Giving page or by using the Donate button on our website. Thank you for the many ways that you contribute to our spiritual community. If our lives feel suspended, uncertain or content, we can at least take, take comfort in the fact that the world continues to turn and the seasons continue to come and go. Samhain marks the end of the witch's year. The last harvest has been taken and the wheel has come full circle. It carries us into darkness and inward into ourselves. It is a time for casting out all that is harmful, to make room for all that is good and healing for casting off what we do not need in order to focus on what is really important to us. This is the time when the veil between the worlds is at its thinnest, which means that we can, if we wish, communicate with our beloved dead. There is a tradition that on the night of Samhain or Halloween, the dead come to seek out their earthly homes Jack-o'-lanterns are lit and candles are placed in windows to show them the way. And maybe we will see some candles or even spirits on our evening walks in the coming weeks. We begin by lighting our chalice flame, the symbol of our free faith, in fellowship with Unitarian and Unitarian Universalist congregations throughout the world. We kindle the fires through our chalice flame to mark the ancient festival of Samhain. This time of year when the veil draws thin, happy memories of our departed, we welcome you in. Let our vision now become strong and clear as we turn again, turn again, the wheel of the year.
Our reading today is called This Sacred Thread by Reverend Helen Janulis, a Unitarian Universalist minister. I will read it slowly as a spoken meditation, so you might like to take this time to gently close your eyes or soften your gaze as we enter into this time of meditation. This Sacred Thread. They once dwelled among us, the people of memory. They who knew us, who taught us. They who hurt us. They who loved us. They touch our lives time and again through their presence and their absence, through familiar scents and favourite songs, through old stories and renewed sorrow. As the earth turns and leaves fall, we reach back to renew the bonds between us. With heart and hand open, we hold on to love ever stronger than death. We reach back in gratitude and understanding. Without our time together, the pain and the joy, we would never be who we are today. We would have little to pass on ourselves. Without fear, with thanksgiving, and with hope for all that awaits, we remember those who have gone before we honour the circle of life and death and our place within this sacred thread. invite you to take part in a guided visualisation to remember our loved ones, the people of memory. And so sit as comfortably as you can and let us begin with a few calm, deep breaths in and out. closing your eyes or softening your gaze to turn inwards. At this time of year, as the nights are drawing in, the days get shorter and the weather grows colder. Picture yourself sitting in a place of comfort, perhaps 
a cosy chair in your favourite room. You might imagine a fire burning brightly in a hearth nearby and the warm light of candles surrounding you. A lantern in your window welcomes the spirits. Pleasant memories from the past swirl around you. You would welcome the spirit of a beloved departed if they wanted to come calling. You gaze into the flickering flames of the fires and drift into a reverie. What memories of a beloved, of a beloved one might crackle into life in this place of comfort, this cosy room, in these few moments of stillness? After a few moments, the fire begins to smolder and die down, but you can still hold the warmth of memory in your heart. So let us do that now as we pause once again. Imagining those warm memories held in our hearts.
Let us breathe in a few more calm, deep breaths and take note of any pleasant sensations from our experience. And when you are ready, bring yourself back to the here and now, gently opening your eyes if you wish. Blessed be. We come now to our walking meditation. At its simplest, we can just mindfully put one foot in front of the other, noticing how it feels to place each foot on the ground in turn. And you can continue like this, or if you would like to have more of a focus, you may like to imagine walking in the footsteps of your ancestors, giving thanks in each step for all that they have given us, forgiving in each step all that we would wish to be different. If you have a candle, you could place it in the center of an imaginary circle as we walk around Widdishans in anti-clockwise direction for a few minutes, focusing on the motion, the sensations of walking with our ancestors.
Thank you, John. We end today's service with a body prayer, the earth sky breath. I thank the sound therapist An Andrea Lowry for teaching me this body prayer movement. The earth sky breath was first given to her teacher by a Peruvian shaman in the 1980s. It is a simple but profound movement, allowing your essence to flow between the solid earth and the ethereal universe. It can help us to see our place in the world and our connection to all things. Following our breath with our bodies can give us a full mind-body-spirit spirit experience. And so we do this by breathing in the universe, holding it in our hearts for a moment, and then releasing it to the earth. And then breathing in the earth, holding it within our hearts, and releasing it into the sky. We're going to try this for a few moments today, but you might like to make it a daily practice for about five minutes each morning. So let's try the earth sky breath by standing together. We breathe in the universe, hold it within our hearts, and breathe it out to the earth. Breathing in the earth, holding it within our hearts, breathing it out to the sky. Breathing in the universe, holding it within our hearts, breathing it out to the earth. Breathing in the earth, holding it within our hearts and breathing out to the sky. And you can continue at your own pace, breathing in, holding within your heart and then breathing out. Entering into our final cycle. Blessed be.